The plasma membrane plays several vital roles for the cell. Membrane proteins perform many of its functions. They include transport of fluids and chemicals in and out of the cell, communication between cells or the external environment, enzymatic reactions, cell identification, and the formation of cell junctions. The membrane acts as a barrier to transport of chemicals into or out of the cell. It may be permeable to one chemical, allowing it to exit or enter the cell, and impermeable to another. This characteristic of membranes is known as selective permeability. Water and gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide can easily pass through the phospholipid bilayer. In other words, the membrane is permeable to these molecules. Charged or polar chemicals, such as ions and glucose, cannot pass through the bilayer. Membrane proteins are needed to transport charged or polar chemicals. Ions move across the plasma membrane through water-filled hollow proteins. These channels come in two forms that allow movement down a concentration gradient, pores that are always open, and gated channels that are able to open or close. Another form, pumps, moves ions against their concentration gradient using additional energy supplied by the hydrolysis of ATP. Channels usually transport only specific types of ions, while pumps can transport more than one type. Molecules, such as nutrients like glucose, must bind to a different kind of membrane protein called a transporter. After binding with the molecule, the protein changes shape. This change results in the transport of glucose across the membrane into the cell, where it plays a vital role in metabolic processes like respiration. Larger molecules, such as proteins, require movement of entire sections of the membrane. A small round sac, called a vesicle, is formed from an existing membrane and used for transport. The process of secreting a substance out of the cell using vesicular transport is called exocytosis. Secretion of neurotransmitters, or hormones, is an example of this process. If a substance is moved into the cell using vesicular transport, the process is called endocytosis. Phagocytosis, the ingestion by a cell of large particles or cells, such as bacterium, is an example of this process. Some membrane proteins act as receptors to molecules secreted from other cells, a form of cellular communication. An example is a membrane receptor that, once bound to a neurotransmitter, promotes the flow of ions through the membrane, thereby triggering changes in cell function. Both plasma and organelle membrane surfaces contain enzymes, another type of membrane protein. As such, membranes are active sites for chemical reactions. For example, during the process of digestion, the enzyme lactase binds to the lactose substrate and splits it into two usable products.
Certain membrane proteins are specific to cell types. They allow a cell to recognize other cells and to respond to potentially foreign cells. For example, immune system cells will identify harmful bacterial cells that are infecting the body. Tissues are clusters or layers of cells that are permanently linked together by membrane proteins. These cell junctions act to anchor cells together. Form watertight barriers. And form conduits for movement of ions like sodium or potassium between adjacent cells. 